Welcome back everybody to another video and I do it now the second time because my first time my audio was not working, my microphone, and I didn't realize when I started editing I realized it, there is no audio. I received a nice package from Nika Archery and we know them already, they make this nice thumb protectors, they make or they sell this, uh, take this two piece, I uh, forgot the name bow. Mughal crab bow in plastic and they have new limbs on the start and they asked me if I want to test them. I said yes of course but I don't have a recurve bow for this so they sent me even a riser. So, and they sent me a lot, a lot of stuff. Of course I started now already the video so that's why we just jump directly right in. Uh, with, the, with the limbs when you get them, these are the N3 limbs. I tell you in a second a little about it. You get a nice uh, quick dry shirt from Nika Archery, so you can run their, you know, advertisement for them. Nice. I mean, hey, why not? No, why not? And size L. Okay. So this out of the way. So what did I get? So let's see. First of all, the two limbs. These are the N Progress N3. Record. And they are. No, 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 stay here, otherwise I can't remember. I need to read everything. Come in a nice sleeve, Nika Archery. And here they are. They are. They look just awesome. They have a rounded finish here, so you don't see any lamination lines or something. See Progress Nika Archery N3. And they are monolith, carbon. What that means is they are compressed in CNC machined metallic molds under high pressure at high temperature. Material is 55% carbon fiber content. They are in a CNC integrated mold. Quite interesting. They are designed with a curve profile which stores more energy and provides a 4% speed gain about 8 foot per second equivalent to a 3 pound gain at 40 pounds. Smooth curve and high speed fits all kinds of weather, strong stability and torsion resistance. And I can tell you already that these things don't bend, don't twist at all. So that's cool. What else do we have? They have narrow limb ends and, a, and solid carbon. Tips have been reduced to increase speed, which is always nice. And they are ILF compatible. Specification standard ILF, the limb length is 68 inches or 70 inches. The draw weight, you can have them from 16 pounds to 50 pounds. Material as said, the curve is progressive profile which guarantees an extreme smoothness, 40% more, and a very high speed. High torsion stiffness guarantees a narrow grouping, vibration damping for your comfort. Shoot long distance even with low poundage with 55% carbon fiber content, compressed in CNC machined metallic mold under high pressure and high temperature. And they feel really solid. So I wish they would make now directly a nice small Turkish bow exactly in this material full. So I like this idea a lot. So this is all I can tell you, carbon limbs. Yep, this is all I have for you, smooth curve, high speed. I think I told you everything I can tell you. The price of these set of limbs is 280 US dollar, which is, if they perform good, just nothing. Or at least still money, but you know, it's not too bad. So, then because I did not have a riser, they sent me one, a nice one, a heavy one. Comes in a nice pouch again. And this is the, let me see again, so they, they are put the string already. The string is here. And, and, and look at this one in black. I like it. You can have it in 227 colors, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 colors. It's the ET8 Warpath riser, uh, high modulus aluminum alloy riser, uh, generates power and steadiness, enhances weight distribution and accuracy. Has a length of 25 inches, is CNC processed for, this is one for left, and yeah, this is of course a sort of a right hand one for left hand. Material is 6061T6, whatever that means. It weighs 1250 gram, and you can have it in pink, purple, gold, orange, green, black, silver, gray, blue, and 
rent just a knife. I'll leave the link in the description to the website so you know everything and you can check everything. Nice ILF and of course these ones have lower limb, upper limb, so they just fit, tack and they're in. Just nice. Still wiggly, this drives me nuts, but you know, that is how it is and the Olympic archers are happy with this. The riser, again $280 for a really nice crafted riser. Can't say anything, has this plastic but looks like carbon. Feels good in the hand, of course it's heavy and what have you. Then they sent me, I tried already to attach it, one of these magnetic arrow rests. But it came off again, so we need to put this on here again. <coughs> so, the string I told you, pouchy can go. And of course, on the, on the limbs you get this little blue hoodies here as protectors that you don't scratch anything. That's nice too. You get some string silencers with it. A package of uh, Allen keys. The, the arrow rest I already mentioned. There we get some rubber things, which I did not check now. Maybe you put them on the limbs to dampen or I have no idea what I should do with these ones. I'm a little, you know, not so... Then they have a plunger for it. The plunger is $30. And what the plunger does, I had to check on... Oh, there's a feather, so this one. goes in here, so you screw this from the other side here. Look, now I'm getting nerdy here. And what it does, it helps you, you can adjust this strength. Oh, now I push my thing away again, that's bad. You should stay there. So this arrow rest is not working, so. You can align this now. <coughs> Center line of your arrow. Tighten it most probably somewhere here with this nut. And then you can adjust it here and you can adjust the strength of this nipple here and it will take out a little of the flexing motion of an arrow, so spine-wise or something, you know, then you can do something with this, but I have no idea. This is really not working here. You don't want to work, huh? Why don't you want to work? Where shall I put this so that it works? If I guess just stick it here, it doesn't work. So you know what, I put it here on this carbon fiber piece, which it's not supposed to be there. But I guess there at least it will hold for now. So, a plunger, 30. With an extra spring and tools and what have you. Nice. The things you need for a bow like this. And then I got a sight. I will not mount this side. The side is again $30. It's really nice. So you have this little small red dot here and you can adjust and everything, but you know that. And they included a tab, which looks very good. Has this, this, you know, this finger separator. The tab costs, I don't know. I didn't even write it down. And the arrow rest is 18 dollars so in front there it's not supposed to be there it's supposed to be here but here it doesn't work so I need to but you know what this so I will not use the tap I will not use the site and I will not use the plunger and we showed you what they all included that you get the maximum out of a bow like this what's left oh, let's go in the sun and let's shoot some arrows first we need to string this bow no we should would have been nice if they would have included a stringer. So I had to use a step through method, which we don't use for this. But look at this, even step through method. What they said with this carbon, the torque resistance, look at this, they, these limbs are not moving. When I do this with, a, with another takedown, then the limbs, the limb ends go away, really. So these limbs, they have something. The riser, not my cup of tea, but Nika. Build a bow completely in full carbon, a Turkish bow or something, or a whatever, with some... Oh, this arrow rest is not sticking. This double-sided tape is <coughs> maybe not the finest thing, so let's see. Let's shoot the first arrow with this nice bow. Wait, fast, loud, 
Well, that's why you get string silences. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. So I shoot my 700 and 600 spine, 28 inch arrows, which I got from Bogensport Austria. Of course, in the knocking point you would need, but shoots really nice. And once you focus a little and take your time, this thing is a precision tool. Works just nice. Has, I guess, a good eight inches brace height. Works like a charm. Speed test I did already yesterday and I don't do it again. It's good 190 foot per second with these arrows. These arrows are 240, I think. And the bow has, what did I say? I told you. Look at this, how precisely you can shoot with this bow. It's really like cheating. And yes, even now I don't care about the odd feather. Works still, it's almost the same. So you might put your odd feather out here. Look at this. Take a little time, so it's nothing fast shooting. You take your time. You set up your shot properly. You most probably want to set up your, your, even your error in the right position here or make a screw one there. Nice. Of course, with a bow like this, it makes totally sense that you really set it up properly and you will really find the right tuned arrows for it. And you make a knocking point and have everything set up. Then this thing is even long distance accurate. So I don't need a sight for. <laughs> Hitting the center, oops, hitting the center there. For me personally, it's only too heavy, but this is this type of arches like a heavy handle, heavy riser. I don't. So out of the box, you can see that the arrows fly differently because they have different spine and different weight. <laughs> this is interesting. I need to show you now. See, the top group are 700 spine and the low bottom group are 600 spine. So, but both, I shot groupings with both. Works really nice. So fun to shoot, nothing to complain. And when you see everything, 280 for the limbs, 280 for the riser and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Then you add, it's, not even $700, and you have something <laughs> hilarious. And they say that these full carbon, they don't change their behavior in different weather conditions. So pff, you're good to go with this bow. Really nice. Ah, this one I ruined. Wanted to show, show, show you now a nice tight group, but the last one I ruined. This bow is very interesting. I like these limbs. I said, I wish, Nika, you would make now a full one piece or a takedown Asiatic bow in this material. I know it's, it's expensive because you need to make your molds with it, but you know, you make a little longer mold with a part of our handle here and another part with the, the opposite part of the handle. Then you have a really nice bow. And I guess this bow can be drawn 30 inches. So it's, not really not bad. So this carbon, even if I still don't like the optics, but on a bow like this, I don't mind. Looks good, looks Formula One. Really nice, feels good, balanced. And it shoots nice. So you need a few arrows, then you already know what this bow is doing and you set up your shots properly. And then this thing is just a scalpel. It works precisely on every distance, you only need to shoot the same arrows, not like me, shoot different. <laughs> but the rest has a little here for the rest of the bow. You see, when I hold it, yeah, it's still. So there's a little red link going on, but that's why you have the string silencers and you get this thing even silent. 190 foot per second with these arrows, so speed is not bad. 
accuracy is there. It draws nice. So these limbs are really, I mean, you, you saw them un, unstrung, quite heavy recurve, almost a super recurve. And the draw curve is really, there is a little, hmm? and then from here it starts back there continuously. Wow, just so these limbs, nice. With the riser, not my cup of tea, but $280 for these limbs, I would say, for the one who shoots this kind of bows, totally interesting. So if you have already an ILF riser, this one is 25 inches, I said, worth checking out, really worth checking out. So I have not more to say. I told you the prices, I told you my impression. They work really nice. And I like, look, as you see, I can show you maybe here close up. You see the round edges here? So you don't see any laminations running. It's, it's completely made in a mold. This is like one piece. And I think they are really, really durable and they will last almost forever. Different layers, as I told you, with, with carbon has this, this and the, the most impressive thing is really, look here, usually when you do this with a normal recurve, the limbs will twist away, nothing. There is, you really need to force them and, and then still not. This is, they are torque resistant, like, wow, impressive. So that's a really, really impressive bow. I like it. So not, I said, not my cup of tea, but I will find someone who likes to shoot these bows and who will appreciate this bow. But draws nice, shoots nice. And it's like cheating, I said, you know, you, you shoot instantly groups like this. It's no problem. Wow. So. That's it, the N3 Progress Monolith Carbon limbs by Nika Archery, Elong Outdoor, we know them. And with it came the Warpath riser in aluminum alloy, 1250 grams, but machined everything just, again, beautifully made, really. They really know what they are doing. This thing has no flaws. It's just perfection coming from China. Wow. Thank you very much, Ilong Outdoor Nika Archery for sending this bow to me with all the equipment, with all the sights and everything, what have you, really nice. Thank you very much. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.